Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and this is A Common Life. I am a homeschooling mom of five kids ages four through 12 and we are a Catholic family. And one of the things that we are using in the upcoming school year to teach religion is this Faith and Life series. Now, as you can see here, I have three different copies. I have the third grade, I have the sixth grade, and the seventh grade. And for the third grade book, I actually have two sets of the workbook, which is at the back, because I'm going to be doing it with both my second grader and my third grader. It's much easier for us as a large family to kind of combine subjects. So that's what I'm going to be doing for this curriculum. But this one's going to be just for my sixth grade daughter, and this is going to be just for my seventh grade son. So I thought I would give you a little peek at this religion curriculum. Let's first begin with the grade three Faith and Life series. It's called Our Life with Jesus. And this is the textbook. It comes with a textbook and it comes with a workbook. So in the contents, there is at the very beginning here is a note to the parents and then there are 30 weeks worth of lessons. So it tells you what all the lessons are. And then at the back, it has the words to know, we pray and any of the art credits because there's art throughout this entire book. So here is the note to the parents, which is important for you to read before you begin this curriculum. And then it immediately starts with the very first lesson. So there's the chapter heading, there is a scripture reading, and then it goes through this, which you will basically read aloud to your child. If you have older children, then they can completely do this on their own. But for my younger boys, I will definitely read this with them. So this beginning just talks about God and it begins with a question. And then it goes through and talks about how much God loves us. Here we have the Lord's Prayer, which I think about by third grade, your children should know that by heart already. Then there is the section of words to know, and then there are the questions. So the teacher will read these questions or will ask these questions and then make sure that the child knows the correct answers, which you can see that they are all aligned with the catechism. And here's the rest of the questions. And then you'll just move on to the next lesson. Now, this is something that you can do every day or something that can, you can do just one day a week. It's completely up to you. After you've read the section from the book, you can go ahead and get the workbook, the activity book for your children. And so I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like inside here. So again, you have the contents, which obviously matches up with the other content. Then there's a nice little note here for the student. And then it goes straight to the first page. So this is obviously the questions that we already saw in the teacher book. So you will just have the student write down the answers to this. And each of my children have their own workbook. So this is not something that we are gonna be copying or duplicating or anything like that. They will get their own workbook. And then there's just one page for each of the topics. So here, this is like chapter three um, or lesson three from chapter one. And you can see that there's lots of different types of assignments throughout this book which makes it very interesting. It's not just all boring questions. I mean, there's lots of different things throughout this book. Now let me show you one of the books for the older children. So this is the book for my daughter who is gonna be starting sixth grade. And obviously this is going to be much more difficult and definitely a little bit more um, you know, serious of a topic. It's not just gonna be God loves you. It's gonna be much deeper than that. So here we have the section on the Ten Commandments, the section on the Holy Mass, the last things, and then there is this Christmas season supplement. So that's pretty neat that they have that in here as well. So once again, there is the note to parents, and this time there is an introduction, and then there's part one, which we know is about the Ten Commandments. Now, like I said, your child should be able to do this completely on their own. They should be able to read through this, look at the pictures, read about the Ten Commandments, and then obviously you don't want them to just look at the answers here. What you want to do is you want to have them go to this activity book, which is set up the same way as the other one was, and answer the questions that are here in the book. And like I said, again, I just have one book per child. I'm not going to be copying this, but this is kind of the same way. There's more um, questions and less activities in the older book, but there are still some activities. Um, here's a word search. I mean, they definitely try to make it fun for children, but it's difficult. It gets more difficult as the children get older, which is good. Before we move on to the other book, let me quickly show you the Christmas season supplement because this is a really nice addition to the book. In this Christmas season supplement, there's a section on angels we have heard on high. And there's questions for the child to answer. Then there's this section, fruit upon the bow, the mission. And then once again, there's gonna be questions to answer. Then this section is really neat. It's all about liturgical colors and vestments. And then we get to the section about words to know, which is at the back of every book. 
And then this part here is all of the prayers. So by the time they're done going through this book, they should know all of these prayers. Some of them they may already know, but they should know all of these prayers by the end of the book. And then there's the art credits again at the end. So that's the book for grade six. And lastly, we have the book for grade seven. Now, obviously this is going to be just a little bit more difficult. And I'll show you the table of contents. So this one has God reveals himself. God becomes man. God shares his life. And then the appendix at the end with the word snow and the prayers again, just like last time. Okay, so there's the note to the parents, the introduction, and then part one. And it follows that same format where you read through it and then you answer the question. And the only thing that is different about this book is at the very back, let's see, here we go. There is a section about the examination of the conscience. So that's very interesting um, for an older child who is, you know, as they prepare to make confession and all that. They have all of this section back here, examination of the conscience, and then the credits at the very end. And the workbook just follows that same format, answering the questions, mostly questions with a few, you know, other different things. That's books of the Bible, there's writing passages, there's all different kinds of things. Um, but it follows that same format and there's just one worksheet per day. So that's just a quick look at the Faith and Life series from Ignatius Press that we are going to be using for our, basically for our catechism during our homeschool year. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments down below. I will have all of these linked to for you in the description box. Have a great day.